right, welcome to lesson 3.2 in the Cisco CCT data center series. In this video, we're going to be discussing Cisco UCS Manager. All right, what we're going to discuss in this video is we're going to discuss the purpose of the UCS Manager. We're going to go through some other UCS uh, Manager fundamentals, and then we're going to go spend some time on an actual UCS Manager and overview the menu a little bit. All right, UCS Manager fundamentals. What is the UCS Manager's job? It is to manage the entire UCS fabric. The UCS Manager is accessed via the GUI. Now, if you guys actually remember from the Fabric Interconnects video, the UCS Manager is embedded in, is embedded in the Fabric Interconnects and it's accessed via a shared IP address that the Fabric Interconnects share. All right, so now we are on a, uh, a Cisco UCS architecture document um, and it's just a good picture to review again just so that we're all on the same page. And so the Fabric Interconnects are these green ones right up here. Okay, so each Fabric Interconnect is going to have its own management IP address and then they are going to share a virtual IP address. So you're going to go to the same address no matter which Fabric Interconnect is active. Um, and typically Fabric Interconnects are deployed in an HA fashion where if one fails, then the other one will take over for that, that shared IP address. All right, and then back on the fundamental screen, the UCS manager requirements is, and this is, these are, these are requirements as of the time that I'm recording this, which is going to be May of 2020. Uh, it's going to be Java 1.6 or higher and HTTP and HTTPS must be enabled. And these are the requirements for the uh, computer that you're going to be accessing UCS manager from. All right, so here I am looking at a UCS manager. You can see it's a really simple topology, but this is what the main topology view looks like. You can see we've got a chassis server right here. Uh, we've got two fabric interconnects in a, a configured in HA fashion like we discussed earlier. And we've got a second chassis down here and uh, another server attached to these. And so if you look over on the left-hand side, so I have, I have the equipment tab selected. And um, then you can see it just has the, the categories of equipment. You've got the chassis, rack mount, and fabric interconnects. And then underneath that, you've got the, the groups and like the subgroups. And then you can go all the way down to uh, you know, the, the individual machines here. So you click on the servers tab, and this is gonna bring up, this is gonna bring up everything relevant to the servers. So the LAN tab is gonna have everything that's uh, relevant to networking. Now I'm not gonna go through the entire thing because that would take hours and uh, I'm sure everybody would be bored out of their minds. But so then the SAN tab is gonna be the same thing. Um, VMs, okay, so this is going to uh, show everything on a VM level. We've got the different categories. So the cluster of VMs, uh, fabric network sets, port profiles, VM networks, Microsoft VMware. All right, storage. It's going to have your storage profiles, the storage policies, uh, the chassis. So this is going to have the different chassis. So it's, just, it's just different views of everything that's in the UCS fabric. And then the admin panel is down here. Okay, so we'll go all the way back up to the top. All right, so equipment, main topology view. You can click here and look at the, the fabric interconnects. Um, you can quickly pull up all of the, the servers that are in the UCS fabric. All right, so the firmware management tab, this is where you're going to control the different firmware or the firmware that's on the, you know, the different pieces of equipment that are in the fabric. You've got the firmware auto install feature, the catalog packages. It's just information about the firmware. And then the policies has different, you know, policies that you can set uh, surrounding the fabric. And then the fault panel is going to be uh, on the right here. Uh, so this is going to be where if you have error messages, this is where that's all going to be. Uh, you can see right here, you're, you're selecting which error messages, which error messages are shown to you. All right. And so this is just meant to be a very brief overview. Again, showing you everything in UCS manager would take a long, long time. Um, and I think as a data center technician, um, you're not going to need to know everything about UCS manager, but they, you might have to go in and, and set up basic things. All right, so that concludes this lesson. Uh, we went over the purpose and the basics of UCS Manager, and then we also went out and looked at the UCS Manager uh, in real time.